Stephen Drake with DPS Skis, hanging out here with the guys from Backcountry Skiing Canada, and I'm just going to give you a super quick tour of our line for 12-13. So starting with the biggest ski in line, this is the Lotus 138. It is um, pretty much a pure powder gun. It was the first rocker ski side cut ever built in 2005. It's since gone through uh, design iterations almost every year um, in terms of flex powder and rocker line, and uh, especially this pure carbon construction, weighing at around 8 pounds and being torsionally stiffer and more powerful than a World Cup race ski. It's, uh, it's a really unique deep powder tool. Lotus 120 is also this basic shape. It's been with us since the beginning, and it was the uh, first uh, pintailed 120 millimeter class ski ever built. Uh, it's rocker here in the tip, pretty flat through the tail. Uh, the flex pattern stiffens through the tail. The mount point is uh, is uh, set back, and uh, the ski is just a super versatile, soft, soft snow ski. And uh, people now, especially with um, there's a, some people have an aversion to tail rocker, and that's where the 120 comes in. It's just super powerful finishing through the turn. So this and moving into the core of our line, um, right now for DPS, the Whaler 112 is, is kind of where it's at in terms of uh, popularity. Uh, like that, the ski here uh, combines a lot of what we, uh, what we found in the Lotus 138 with skis all the way on the other end of our line, like the Cassiar. So you have 15 meter radius underfoot. Um, that blends into what we call a paddle, which is an almost straight section here where the rocker starts. And then a, a really tight radius rocker tip. So really the ski, the, the performance range is huge compared to, to other skis in its class. And it basically allows you to, you know, it sounds cliche, but you can really rip trenches in a groomer and at the same time flow a plane and get really good off-edge performance in deep sound. Whaler 99 is new for this year. It is, uh, we're, we're calling it the Daily Driver. It shares a lot of the same heritage of the Whaler 112. It has that same paddle tech technology. Um, it has a little bit lower tail profile, which I'll show you, than the 112. So a bit more powerful um, coming out of the turn. And this is just a great ski that you can reach for every day, regardless of the conditions. It's kind of the one ski quiver. And then our narrowest offering is the Cassiar. You know, as much as we, you know, we hang out in the backcountry, we also are driven by pure performance on snow and uh, on the front side and hard snow. And uh, Cassiar, especially with the pure carbon construction, is totally unique in that it's going to weigh 30 percent less than, than skis of comparable surface area, but at the same time have 30 percent more torsional stiffness and powders and, and power. So. Basically, you get this super, very powerful, moves under your body extremely well and extremely quickly, front side ski. And you can also, you know, if you're, say, touring on a spring day where you know you're just going to ski buttery corn and just want to carve the hell out of something, you know, this is a great match as well. So that's the uh, quick rundown. Oh, sorry. A couple more. <laughs> the uh, women's skis are basically uh, on the Whaler 112RP. The uh, women's version of it is called the Yvette, and it is uh, it's basically the same exact ski. We just move the mounting point forward one centimeter. There isn't, uh, unlike other ski, women's skis on the market, this isn't watered down. Uh, it doesn't have lighter woods or less glass, for example, because the carbon construction is so light already. Uh, we keep all the power uh, that we have in the head slide in our in our body. The Nina 99 here is the women's version of the Whaler 99. Lastly, the Spoon. This is a, uh, started as a concept ski last year, and it's now we're bringing it into production for 1213. Uh, it's, uh, it's a convex base, so really what it allows the ski to do is get a much higher ski and edge angle than a conventional flat ski, which encourages uh, slarving and sliding with deep snow, so it's just way more uh, creative ski than than sort of traditional skis in soft snow. And the 
the design feature here is what we call a cleat. It's a vertically undulating dip in the edge that basically allows the ski to, uh, to function in hard snow, mixed snow, uh, when you're getting into entrances or runouts. So.